Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 6 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the Do Not Disturb mode. And to get started you'll want to pull down your notification panel straight from the top, expand it and look for the toggle which for me is right over here. Once you find it you can tap on it to immediately turn it on with whatever the default settings of it are or you can also hold it and this will take you to the settings where you will be able to customize it. So I'm going to turn it off for now and go over the settings. So as you can see, we have uh, what can interrupt, do not disturb mode. We have people, apps, alarms, and you also have a schedule, which uh, falls under a different category, and then general. So let's go through people. And this will allow you to set who can call you and message you. And this allows you to choose either everybody, contacts, favorites, or no one. With the um, difference for no one, or calls, I mean. Uh, no one, as an example, right here, as a good, Kind of like example for this uh, what I want to get into is this so allow repeated colors so uh, this option basically allows someone to reach you assuming they uh, they fulfill their requirement which is calling you twice within a 15 minute period and this will completely bypass whatever option you have chosen right here I could have it set to contacts and they might not be your contact or as an example, you can have that no one can call you, but if they fulfill this option, they completely bypass this altogether and will be able to call you without a problem. So if there is something that you don't want, disable it. Now, messages has basically the same options as calls minus the repeated callers, obviously. Then if we go back, we have also what kind of apps can interrupt you. Uh, then we have alarms and other interruptions. So again, we have things like sounds, reminders, and so on. Choose whichever one you want to be able to interrupt this. So the ones that are enabled, bypass, do not disturb mode. Then we also have a schedule, which allows you to set it up uh, so it turns on and off automatically at a given time and day of the week. And last, we have duration for a quick settings. A quick setting is this toggle right here. So once you tap on it, you can select what will happen. So by default, it is until you turn it off. So once you turn it on, you do need to also turn it off. But you also have a timer, which you can add hours right here. And lastly, we have ask every time, which will bring up uh, these two first option every time you tap on the toggle. Okay. And we also have some other options for hidden notifications. So once you went through all the settings right here, you can simply close this and now find the toggle in your notifications, tap on it to turn it on, and it is right now enabled. And if you went with the schedule mode, you don't actually need to turn it on, it will do it on its own. So just keep it as it is. Once the time approaches for it to turn on, it will do it automatically, so you don't have to do anything extra. So anyway, that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.